360TV. Hey, what's going on, J360 Legion? How are you all doing tonight? Welcome to another Project Conference episode. This is episode five, and we have a special guest happening with us tonight, and it is the lovely Claudia Blackstar. And this is going to be one hell of a great episode. So let's go on ahead and get into it, huh? Okay, okay. Hey, how's it going, Lady Blackstar? How are you doing today, Claudia? Hi, dear Jay. (laughs) (laughs) It's nice to see you. Welcome to Project Conference 5. Oh, thank you so much. It's kind of an honor to mm-hmm. me. <laughs> it's, it's an honor to me, too. It's definitely nice to see you here and all. Mm. So, you've been doing pretty good today? Uh, worked on anything new? Well, indeed. I've been, you know, I just came back from my work like a couple of hours ago. And, you know, as my usual schedule, uh, I help, I always kind of work on different things you know when i'm not doing my weekend practices or just reading or just you know listening to music like i usually do i have to sit on my on my laptop and and just keep working on on the usual stuff that i have to do whether the signing stuff or just producing composing or whatever in fact I I was kind of a finishing a new song that I'm working on that I'm I'm kind of a planning to release later on. Uh, yes. It's not the it's not the the new single I announced shortly ago, but it it kind of be another one. So so yeah, I have quite a lot of stuff in the back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm a big fan of your work on. You are just doing phenomenal stuff. I mean, you're lead singer of Drop Beat Empire. I mean, that's amazing in itself. But then you work with other creatives, and you also work on your own stuff. In addition to like, uh, the, there's another project you're a part of. I'm just like, yeah, she's just as busy as me. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I like that. I, I really do. And it's like. You know, and, and you got it. You know what I mean? Like, you got all of it. You got the vocals, the musical talent. Just everything is just oh. incredible. So as you're putting in the time and you're doing all of what you're doing, I respect that. So that's why I was like, how have you been today and all? Thank you, you know? so much. So, yes. Mm-hmm. Definitely. You're you're definitely welcome. I mean, like, mm-hmm. the fact that I got you on this interview right now, it's, it's win, you know? So... <laughs> um i gotta i gotta ask you though as we jump into this thing what got you started in creating music and becoming claudia blackstar i just we we need to know you know okay um well what actually inspired me to start creating music um that kind of started some years ago you know um i kind of just said that on my 50 facts about me video when I said that I wanted to be part of a band or just making a band but I never got a chance and yeah that could have been my first approach but as I just said that I couldn't have the chance uh, I had to to stop mm. I had to um, yeah put that in a standby for quite some time before I actually could afford to start making music like uh, you know it was I think 2018 19 I I already moved to Uruguay after after a couple of years before and mm-hmm. and yeah I had I started to have some ideas before you know, because I actually wanted to to start expressing myself, you know, and I actually had some ideas 
but I could never finish them all, you know. Mm. But then some stuff happened in the middle, and it was 2020 then when the pandemic arrived, uh, and then I could actually start to move forward with the, with some songs, uh, some ideas that I had written down from from before, and as soon as I could afford to to have some some new additions to my equipment, like an interface uh, or some microphone and stuff, then I could actually put some more effort and then uh, I could start to to complete those ideas and, and actually give them shape. Like, that's how you know, my first single from Shadows actually come. And and yeah, as soon as I as I could premiere that song, which was my first one, uh, then just more ideas come to my mind, and you know what they say: just when when you give the first step, then you just got to keep it going. Mm -hmm. And uh, and as for my identity as Claudia Blackstar, well, my yeah, that comes actually from my from my devotion to talk and the stereo stuff, you know, uh, I actually had this nickname some years ago from from when I was on Facebook, that was Claudia Morningstar, and I ch I chose that Morningstar, uh, and after my favorite DC comic character, that was Lucifer Morningstar, and and yeah, then some stuff happened in the middle and. I I quit Facebook and when I actually came back to social media here in Instagram, uh, I was kind of thinking about a new name that actually uh, could identify my music more. And then I remember that old nickname and said, wait, I could use that, but I think I, had, I, could, I can you know, change some things a little, and and then how that's how Black Star actually comes, and and yeah, that Black Star part is actually quite a reference to all the all the dark stuff I'm actually into nowadays. Oh, see, I like that. I love that origin story, hon. <laughs> it works. But like, like right there, that is just wonderful. Because every time I see, like, when I see your videos and it says Black Star on it, and I'm like, yes. Because <laughs> I know who that is. I'm like, all right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> just, it, it's, it's just very awesome, hon. Like, for real. Like, the way you put it all together and the way you just, like, you got it. So you just keep staying with it, keep evolving it. And just being you, you you're gonna go very far. I know this. Thank you. All right, you know, and that's just the way it is. Because I mean, like the like from upside down, from like Mirage, like I, I've just been there. I was like, yeah, I love every bit of this. So I was like, I was happy to subscribe and buy the stuff. And I was like, is she gonna get a band camp at some point? So yes, and then not to mention the new start with um Lestat from um Drop Beat Empire. That was a damn good hit. That's why I play it on jams all the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it, it works. I appreciate Shoot. that. Mm -hmm. Oh, and speaking of um, Upside Down, like, you made a lot of material, hon, so it was hard to pick the videos tonight. I'm not going to lie. But mm -hmm. speaking of Upside Down, though, we're going to run with that. Now, we are going to live stream like we did last time. Show uh, anything embarrassing, well, let it go, hon, because we ain't got time to worry about that. Let us ride the waves on this one. So Upside Down by Claudia Blackstar. Take it away.
It's just like, oh, that was good, hon. I was in the mood. I was like, yes, yes, hit, hit it again, hit it again. <laughs> <laughs> that is how it is done. Hey, uh, you know, if that doesn't land on somebody's movie soundtrack somewhere, I'm gonna be very upset. But then again, I'm a movie maker. Let me put it on my soundtrack. There we go. Oh, I have to say that. <laughs> hey, just letting you know, cause like the vibes in that was good. Did you play the guitar and all by yourself for that too, as well? Like, how, how did you go through the process of constructing that one? Well, on this one, I actually play guitar myself. <laughs> um, so yeah, I actually uh, I, I arrange all the parts for for this one myself. Uh, the only the, the only song that I've released so far that actually has uh, arrangements made by someone else is actually Nectophile because it was Lestat who actually made the guitar parts for that one. So. So yeah, other than that, all the all the arrangements, even the guitar ones, are made by myself. Nice. Ooh, I gotta get to work in order to catch up with y'all. I mean, my God. <clears throat> <laughs> Just saying, I got my strat sitting in the corner, but uh, hey, it ain't about me right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you are. Wow. You're amazing, hon. You're amazing. Thank you so much. <clears throat> now you do. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, totally. Anytime. Uh, speaking of which, um, about Drop Beat Empire, I'm really wondering how long it took you guys to complete the new start in some of those tracks. Um, yeah. So we've been working on that on those songs for for quite a while, you know. Um, mm. when the stat contacted me. Back in in late 2021, uh, you know, after we started to talk and getting to know each other, and then he showed me the songs he's he has been working on back then, and then I said, uh, "Wow, this is actually pretty nice. I love this," and and yeah. So after he he. Uh, he was searching for other singers, but I actually and en I ended up make myself being his new singer. Uh, yeah. So when we first started to arrange the lyrics for that for that one, uh, it kind of turned out very well. So so yeah, uh, it was kind of real fast and. Uh, cool. And yeah, so. Nice. Yeah, a lot of growth in that department too, because like, I know like if anything, this is just going to grow into even more, you know, especially with the many projects you're a part of. But I definitely had to talk about Drop Beat Empire because that's how I first met you and how I first met Lestat too. So I was like, yeah, there's some history there and it shows in your music. So yes. And as soon as you guys dropped in band camps, you know I had to be there. <laughs> and speaking of which, um, I also realized about your musical talent that you do a great job playing piano too. So you also played that along with our dear friends and you know the guests of last time, Ardenite, oh. which was amazing, by the way. And I mean, like the fact that you guys hooked up and actually made music together, I was very proud of that. I was like, oh. that's what I like to see. You know what I mean? Collaborations like that. And um, you wrote Diamond, by the way. Um, yeah. What inspired you to write Diamond? Well, um, I actually don't fully remember by now, <laughs> but <laughs> I rem but I do remember that back in kind of March or April from last year, like, oh my God, it's almost one year now, uh, when I when I was talking to Juana about the possibility of making a song together and then she said, yeah, I don't see why we couldn't, we could know that. Huh? And, uh, and then I said, oh my God, yes, that will be so, just so wonderful. And then, 
I kind of I kind of started to to arrange some some melodies, and then when I told her that that I had some some ideas for for that song, then I just showed them to her, and she loved it from from the very beginning. And after working for several months on that, because uh, I actually first first showed her. Uh, an unfinished version that was kind of a worth one, one minute long. Then I just fully rearranged it, and then all the the you know, other work process just just flew real, you know, real quickly. And she wrote the lyrics, and I said, "Oh my God, this is perfect!" Like, you know, <laughs> as a token, Nawana. And then, as a token and respect to you, I went ahead and grabbed the um, grabbed the video for it. And I Aww. figured, hey, well, let's go ahead and you know celebrate y'all friendship. In addition to mm. being in the jam fam and everything, so we're gonna do that tonight. All right. Aww. So let's just sit back and watch you guys jam it out, okay? This is Diamond by Claudia Blackstar and Art of Night coming up right now. Take it away. <laughs> Girl, how do you keep it all together? All the weight on your shoulders must be tearing you up inside. You're doing it all by yourself, just like a wonder woman. But there's a darkness you've done in your soul that's taking over your heart. You say.
Uh, get some man right here. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm so proud of you both, though. Both groups are really killing it. Not to mention, like, uh, I'm happy about that. You, you know, that's the thing. Mm, thank you so much. Mm. You know, it's, and it's a very powerful song. Yeah, it is. I know. After after we finished that, uh, <laughs> you know, that song kind mm. of grew up in, on me like a lot, and and then I can't explain how excited I was when we when we were to premiere it the first time, you know, and then I was mm. kind of waiting for just so eagerly for that, and then. When the day came and and we actually premiered it, it was like, oh my God, I can't wait for the people to to listen to it. I can't wait for for the thoughts in it. And then it was, oh my God, so so wonderful. And mm. and you know, I still have the link to that to that video on my link tree because it's it's actually so special for me because it's kind of the closest I'll ever be to be playing along with Juana on a video, you know, <laughs> and then mm -hmm. it actually means means everything to me. It's a beautiful video, on, and like I say, you know, remember that whole thing about I said about growth, though? You guys will team up again. I can see more of it. Oh. I, see a, I see another single, I see another video, and I see me playing it on Jams TV oh. and traditional Jams, too. Let's hope so. <laughs> mm -hmm. It'll happen. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Mm -hmm. And the way you guys put like a lot of effort into it, I'm very happy with that one. You know, speaking of which, Jam 67 is coming up. We're putting it on there. Yep. That's it. Oh. Hey, you know. <laughs> All righty. Speaking of which, um, I mean to ask you, do you prefer Spotify or Bandcamp when it comes to music distribution? I've been wanting to know what your take is on that. Bandcamp, no question. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> Very yeah. good, too. Like, yeah, yes. you know, I, I usually have Spotify, but I don't really mm -hmm. pay too much attention to, the, to it because I mostly use it for updating my playlists and because I can't upload my own music there because I don't have a distributor for that uh, oh, wow. and and besides I don't I don't really want to be on that pursuit of you know the tons of streams for you know just to get paid for you know every 1000 streams because right it's kind of too much effort and the outcome is actually so unworthy you know so that's why Befe Van Camp is actually a, a lot quicker and you can actually get paid immediately. You know, when when the you know, when the person just comes to your song and and it, and he likes it too much and he wants to give you further support rather than just listen to it, he can actually purchase it for like one dollar and and some other people just Keep it for free, but you know, one can be just more, more quick than that. Indeed, and of course, you know, your band camp is right here listed in the description box. So anybody that wants to listen and definitely want to support, mm -hmm. please do check below in the description box. Okay, mm -hmm. but pretty cool work that you do, though, and uh, not to mention, and speaking of shattered, by the way. Excellent track that you made with Elegize because that's coming up right now on tonight's presentation. Oh. <laughs> you want to tell the story about it before we jump on in? Well, Wait, what inspired it? Well, it's actually kind of a another quick story. Like, uh, you know, Elegize contacted me one day and said that he would like to to have my voice on some on some stuff that he could work on. And then he showed me the song he was working on. And then he said, uh, okay, I like this. Because it was kind of a, a totally different thing 
from what I was doing so far. You know, everything, every single I've released so far is always related to alternative electro scene stuff. And then this song came, which was more on a rock side. And then I said, okay, this could be the, the perfect chance to to try myself on a different style. And then when he showed me that song, I was trying to to think about some lyrics by the guidelines he gave me. And then uh, after working for a while on that, then I show him show him my lyrics. He liked them, and then we we could be working on some arrangements and details and stuff. And before I knew, the song was already done. <laughs> and mm -hmm. yeah, I was actually so excited to share it as well. Oh, Mostly because it will be. Now that I think about it, the closest approach that people could have about how will I sound when now with the status and after dark, because it's kind of a quite similar style. Awesome. All right, because I know that you you hit a lot of vocal notes in this one, and I do like it when you sing, and I mean like you really wailed on this one, and I was like. Oh. Which is why it's on the show tonight, because I want the world to feel it and everything, in addition to what you have done. So, like, yeah, that, that was really cool when you made this one. This is one of my favorites from you, by the way. Oh, really? So, we're going to listen to Shattered. Oh, yes. You didn't know? <laughs> definitely, definitely. This is uh, Shattered by Elegize and Claudia Blackstar coming up right now. Take it away.
boy, that and Devil's Night. And um, let's see. I think you used Mirage. Did you use Mirage or from Shadows on uh, Frightful Refrains, if I can think about it? Like, I love all your work, but that is definitely one of my top three right there. <laughs> I love the song. Dude. It's like incredible, incredible. And those are your lyrics. Oh. That is you. Like, oh, my God. Like, yes. Well, actually. You know? Awesome. Yeah. Thing. Well, actually, you, you can sing it right now, but I was kind of lip singing through the entire song. <laughs> oh, my God. It's, so, <laughs> it's just so, so incredible indeed. <laughs> yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Incredibly done, Lady Blackstar. That is another win for you, you know? Let's see. Yep. There you go. I did it right. <laughs> 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 yep. <laughs> well done indeed. And you know, like um, like I said before, all this stuff that you do and all this work that you're gonna put in, it's gonna lead to more and more things and lots of opportunities. Like and you songwrite as well. It's just like I, I can't throw stones. It's like where do we find the time? We're both busy, right? <laughs> you know, when it comes to those things. But we believe in what we do and we do what we love and you like <clears throat> you love music, you know? Absolutely. Because everything about that is incredible, you know? So, yeah, and then, like, multi-instrumentalist as well. Mm -hmm. It's about to be done. <laughs> All right, let me take a look if I got any other questions on here. Mm. Oh, yes, we need to know this. How long before the first album release? I know there's an album release coming. I know it. I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my god uh, well you know uh, I cannot reveal that for at least by for now because you know that I that I always like to play with a mystery factor and uh, mm -hmm. I don't like to reveal things any you know, any earlier than necessary right so if there's actually an album coming you'll be finding out in due time, you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> for now, I only have this coming single that I I haven't revealed like too you know, too much so far, but it might come sooner than you think. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's what I like to see. Because mm -hmm, I do it myself. See where a lot of I can't wait to see it all pop up right then and there. I'm all with that. Yeah beautiful soundtrack right there like i said before you somebody's definitely got to reach out to get a lot of your music on their soundtracks for like their movies and all that because you know filmmaking and all like, like <laughs> for real like shatter should be on a on a shatter should be in a movie and this an upside down and especially diamond diamond should be in a movie too like all the songs that we're sharing tonight should be oh. and um you know like yeah. everything that you're doing right now this is a pretty good launch pad for everything. And I know you can't really divulge too much because I know you guys are still working on that next project, which is After Dark. Mm -hmm. So, but if there's anything that you can tell us a little bit about it, you have the floor. Well, since I'm, you know, I'm on this project, like from, from quite a few time already, um, I can only tell you some some really basic stuff like it's an alternative metal project like it has a lot of Evanescence influences some Lacuna Coil influences as well and, and yeah it is it has already one album released from a couple of years ago when it was actually a band that yeah, that could actually be told by the stat, but uh, but yeah, the project has already an album released, and yeah, what we're doing right now is kind of a it's kind of a follow up of that, but with a little heavier approach, you know. Uh, we have a couple of songs already already written and ready to be released, but we want to. To take a little, a little time of preparation before actually premiere it, because uh, the, the the this first song we want to release, 
it actually has a video already prepared Ooh. and uh, and yeah it will be very exciting because uh, we don't actually do a lot of music videos like the one you know, the ones that our friends from Outlet do like <laughs> uh, so we're working quite hard on that and when we get to release it uh, we actually <laughs> we actually be a lot of you're quite excited you know <laughs> oh, yeah. it's actually a song we've been working a lot on it and especially in the video because we're not quite good on that area <laughs> but <laughs> but we hope you like it really oh, we hope you yeah. like it when it's released and mm -hmm. and yeah that's all you can say for now <laughs> hey whichever jams tv episode is up at the time let me know about it and i will put it on there right then and there <laughs> as soon as you guys are ready to premiere that oh i guarantee it yeah, because I'm looking forward to, like, the videos tonight were good, but more music videos down the line, I can see it. So, yes, definitely, like, I I'm hoping for more great things in addition to, like, how After Dark goes, more Drop Beat Empire, and definitely more Lady Blackstar. Oh. Definitely. You know? So, and speaking of which, we got something really, really epic from yours. Now, I won't say the name of this one, because that is up to the guests tonight. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> um, well, this this next song that it's coming up, it's called Nectophile. Ooh. Okay. All right. By Claudia Blackstar. So, take it away. <laughs> Oh 
Uh, well, you know. Just saying. Well, you know, uh, as, as I'm uh, a weaker practitioner, you know, uh, mm -hmm. and I've always been kind of devoted to to the night time, I wanted to to write a song that could showcase my love for the night and all the magical vibes that get that has in it. So you know it it was kind of too easy to approach musically speaking, but the lyrics were kinda kinda hard to to come up with because uh, as you probably know I always try to give some poetic approach on all my lyrics, you know. Uh, and it's, a, it's actually quite hard than it, than it looks, but, well, yeah, once it, I could keep it here, it here rolling, uh, the song kind of flew really quick, and, and yeah, my, that was basically my inspiration for this one. Just my That's love for the night and all the dark magical vibes in it. Hmm. Very good, very good. Because <laughs> <clears throat> I was thinking of like Cthulhu cosmic horror stories and stuff, like all sorts of cool things, like phases of the moon. Like, nighttime is a beautiful part of life. I, I admit well, there is beautiful things, but as I mentioned those things, those were actually three of the movies I'd like to make. <laughs> Two out of the three, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, I felt all of that. I was like, yeah, this is good. You know, and like, just everything about that is just like beautiful. Like, like the, the nighttime atmosphere, like things that go ha or happen in the night, the phases of the moon and all. I like that. Mm. And the poems you put in there were just, I like that. I used to write poems myself. I don't know what happened. I guess I went crazy and wrote scripts. Mm. I don't... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But um, I did write poems at one time. But yeah, you you nailing it, Claudia. I mean, like, I'm loving every bit of that one. Thank you so much. And that was your latest until this new one comes, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we definitely had to put that one on the playlist tonight. And put that on 67 as well, yes. That'll work. I really appreciate it. Mm, definitely, definitely. And then not to mention, like... Um, if you're ever going to do music videos, um, you know, for that one too, could I be in it? I <laughs> uh, just figured I'd go ahead and ask, you know what I mean? Like, like I told Juan, I said, I want to be in the video, you know? <laughs> well, speaking of videos of my own, mm -hmm. maybe there is actually a video coming up. So... I will say more. <laughs> I, I can respect that. Just keep an eye on it. I can it. respect that. I totally will. You, you know I will. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Nectophile, like, we managed to give the world a taste of what you do. And like I said before, like, you know, your links are down here in the description. But what is the number one link where people can actually engage with you and see what you do and everything? YouTube. Alrighty, YouTube it is then. Now, like I said, this is the start of one successful career, and you are just going to be blowing up, and then after a while, I can see it now. We're going to be buying a whole lot of your merch and stuff from here, in addition to who you worked with and other albums that you've been a part of. Because like when I saw that you were on Frightful Refrains, I was like, yes, that's what I like to see. <laughs> you know, because I'm rooting for you every step of the way. So like I said before, just keep it up. Keep doing what you do. Like... And, like, that synergy that you have with the stat, like, I know we're not covering too much of that tonight because he has his own episode coming up. So it's like, yeah, oh, don't you know? <laughs> I was over there working. I it's just like, it. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, by the way, I hope you enjoyed tonight and, um, you know, that. Goose Raba, you got to know me a little bit, see how I am, and I'm glad to see how you are. Oh. 
Well, thank you so much for having me here tonight. Oh, it was kind of, a, <clears throat> kind of a challenge for me because this is kind of my first interview ever. And, <laughs> you know, <laughs> as I'm not kind of a, on my 100%, just, I just try my best, as I, as I always do. So, and you did a great job. So I'm truly, truly glad that, that they're here mm -hmm. tonight. Just mm -hmm. having this chat with you, and you know, it's quite an honor for me. Same here. Like, mm -hmm. um, it's been very fantastic to have you here tonight. And like I said, there was nobody else I wanted to talk to oh. for this particular episode. So, this was a big deal for me, as it is for you. You know oh. what I mean? So it was awesome to have you here, Lady Black Star. And like I said before, you know, everybody's just got to stay tuned to see what you do next because you're always making magic here. Mm -hmm. So definitely check out the link below for more on Claudia Black Star. And we will catch you all next time for any future stuff that we have planned. Okay. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to J360 TV because I'm going to know. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> y'all take care of yourselves and. We will catch you later.